Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be learning what are the naming conventions to be followed while we are declaring variables or functions in JavaScript. So the first one is we can make use of alphabets, both upper as well as lowercase alphabets. We can make use of numbers from zero to nine. When it comes to special characters, we have access to just two. One is a dollar sign. The other one is an underscore. We can use these two while we are declaring variables. A uh, few examples is we can declare a variable like employee, customer, employee to dollar amount, underscore info. These are all permissible. These are all permitted. So that's the first thing that you have to keep in mind. Well, you also have to remember that a variable cannot have white spaces in them. Meaning if I'm creating a variable called as first name, which has two words to it. I cannot give a space in between. I cannot say first space name, nor can we give tabs in between. I cannot say user, a tab and profile. It's not allowed. The third thing is you need to keep in mind that a variable cannot begin with a number. You can make use of numbers. No doubt. I can say employee two. that is allowed, but I cannot begin a variable with a number. I cannot say something like one user or 10 products. That's not allowed. We can also, and we should also not be using the reserved word of the language. For example, words like array function object, all of these are reserved keywords, words that are already available within the language, and we should not be using them while we are creating variables or functions. Okay. Be careful. The next point is your variable names are case sensitive. That means to say a variable user is not equal to variable user. This is all small letters. This is all capital letters. So it is case sensitive. It's not the same. The next point is it's important that you make use of some meaningful names while you're using these names, while you're generating or creating these names, think of some really meaningful names like use names like user instead of just saying you employee instead of just E random number. You're being like very explicit instead of just saying RN order items instead of just saying OI. Okay. So whenever you're coming up with names, come up with uh, meaningful names because you need to remember that at a point of time, it will be you who will come back to the code to maintain it. At that point of time, it might seem very straightforward. You might be able to um, save time, but always keep in mind when you're working on projects, maybe a few months down the line, you are expected to make some changes to the code. And then if you're not able to relate to what these variable values are and what they're holding, it's very difficult for you to build on top of what you had previously. So just keep that in mind. Uh, finally, while you're working with JavaScript, JavaScript uses something called as camel casing. Okay. That's the style that is adapted in JavaScript. If you're working with Python, Python uses something called a snake case. So what's a camel case? First word will be in lower letters and the second word will be in capital letters. For example, it's like the hunch of a camel. The camel case has two terms, two words to it. So the first word will be in all small and the second word, only the first character is going to be in uppercase or the second word is going to be in capital. Some of the examples are going to be what first name, user info, cart items, order details. 